Hello from the extra manufacturer Gigant in Dinklage. Today, using an air suspension system on a 5.5 tons axle as an example, I will show you how to replace the wearing parts and adjust the track. The general safety instructions for working on a vehicle apply. It is important that both shock absorbers on the left and right side of an axle are always replaced. When replacing the shock observers, ensure that the upper protective tube is installed with the opening facing down. Now we can install the new shock observer and tighten it to the correct torque. If we want to replace the air bellow, we vent it, remove the upper nuts and the lower screws. When installing a new air bellow, observe the offset dimension on the spring and tighten the air bellow with the appropriate torque. To replace the Zeland block, we remove the screw and the eccentric nut. If the axle is installed in a vehicle, we lower the axle so that we have free access to the Zeland block. Then we can replace the Zeland block using a commercially available tool. To replace the spring or the bonding, we loosen the nuts on the U-bolt and remove the spring plate. After disassembling the spring, we check the axle plate. The axle plate should be concave. If everything is in order with the axle plate, we can install the new spring. When installing the new spring, it is important that the spring bolt slides into the guide of the axle plate. Then we take the spring plate and screw the spring with the U-bolt. The spring should be at a 90 degree angle to the axle tube. It is also important that the nuts are tightened evenly crosswise. The U-bolt must not be bent and should be tightened with the correct torque. Now we can reassemble the remaining parts. If we want to adjust the track, it is important to move the axle to driving height and set the marks on the eccentric nuts to 6 o'clock. Furthermore, we apply approximately 200 nanometers of pretension to the screws. Now we can mount the track measuring device and adjust the track using the centering tool and the eccentric nuts. When adjusting the eccentric nuts, it is important that both eccentric nuts are adjusted evenly. As soon as we have adjusted the track, the bolt can be tightened with the appropriate torque. All the appropriate torques and installation disassembly instructions can be found in our all-in-one service manual. Once we have finally checked everything, the replacement of the wearing parts and the adjustment of the track on a 5.5 rigid axle is complete. Thank you.